With Banzoogle, you can build a beautiful, professional website for your music in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to walk through all the steps you'll need to get started with a new account, selecting your theme, building out your content, and making your website live for the world to see. So come along with me to create a new account, go through the setup steps, and build your website using Banzoogle. If you haven't already, the first step is to head over to banzoogle.com and click the Try It Free button here in the top right. This is going to create a 30-day free trial account that you can use to build a fully functional website that you can experiment with to see if you like it before upgrading to a paid plan. So you can have fun exploring the site builder and see what you can create without the pressure of committing to a subscription or needing a credit card on hand. To create your account, first you want to enter your artist or band name here, and then your email address. This is the email you'll use to log into your account and the one that any communications from us will be sent to. Then a password, and the main language your website will be displayed in. This info can all be changed at any point down the line, so don't worry. Now you'll be asked to go through three setup steps to get your website started. All the selections you make in these three steps can be edited later, so know that nothing is permanent while you're browsing here. In step one, choose the theme that you'd like to apply to your site. The theme determines the overall styling of your website and the initial positioning of things such as the header image size, menu location, social media icon placement, and much more. You can start with any one that catches your eye, or use our handy theme categories here on the left to help narrow down your choices. I want something that's going to show off my awesome band photo that I have ready for my header, so I'll go with the newest theme at the top of the list here, Acid. It'll also feature my band name with this really cool overlay effect over the image which is gonna look great. In step two, you'll be asked to upload a main header image. You'll wanna use a high resolution image here with a minimum of 72 PPI, which is a standard for web display. If you don't have a good image handy, you can choose from our library of music related stock photos. Experiment with the image fill, crop, and zoom options here to get your photo fitting how you'd like it. For my image here, I don't like how my image is being stretched to fill the space and cropped. So I'm gonna choose the fit header area option and use a complementing background to fill in the background space here. Now my entire image is visible like I want it, which is good. The last step is choosing a site title or a logo display at the top of your homepage. I want to take advantage of the cool overlay effect here the Acid theme offers with its title. So I'm going with that option and typing in my band name. Before we move on, you can choose whether you want to create a one-page site, which will have all your content on a single page that visitors can scroll up and down on, or a standard multi-page website format. You can also highlight the type of content you'd like to begin with, and we'll put together a suggested layout for you to make it as quick and easy as possible to get started. I'm going to go with a multi-page site and select a few key content items that I definitely know I'll be wanting for now. So now you'll find yourself in the main site builder you'll be able to start editing and adding content. At the top of the screen, you'll have a series of tabs. This is where you'll find all the customization options available for your website, like your account settings, as well as other key features available to you, such as your mailing list and selling tools. The home screen is the first thing you'll see when logging in. Think of this as your Banzoogle account newsfeed. You'll have notifications of recent purchases made on your site, mailing list signups or contact form submissions. You'll also have some quick links here to quickly access some useful tools, like creating a mailing list campaign and viewing a full list of your transactions. Edit content is where you'll likely be spending the most of your time. This is where you control everything that falls under the content category of your site. So adding, removing, or editing pages. For a full walkthrough of the options available here, check out our tutorial video on the edit content tab that I'll link to in the description below. So I'm going to get started by building out my homepage. You want to feature a little bit of all the important content here on the homepage, so it's the first thing people see. I've got a new album that was just released, so I want to promote that first thing here. I'll add the image and text feature, because it'll allow me to upload the album artwork, and combine it with a button linking to the store page, where I'll eventually add it for sale. Let's add our artwork. For the button link, 
I'll select my music page, which was already created for me and ready to go. Now customize our button text. Now let's add a background image to our section and give it a bit of character. I'll just reuse the album artwork here, but adjust the opacity slightly to make it blend into the background and really allow my image and text to pop. To fill out the rest of the home page, I'll set the next section to two columns. I'll add a short bio in the left column here, introducing our band and our style. Then place a music player next to it with our first single off the new album. I'll even add some text below it, letting people know they can click here to listen to the full album on my music page. Before moving on to the rest of our pages, prompt people to sign up to my mailing list. To give them some incentive to do that, I'll offer a free download of a track off the new album in exchange. Now I can get started with building up my mailing list. I can promote upcoming gigs, new merch store items and sales, and keep them up to date on all our latest happenings. On my about page, I'll expand the home page's short bio and have a longer, more detailed version for people to read through if they'd like. The music page is where I'm going to have our two albums available for streaming and purchase. I'll keep the digital music on the music page and have the physical albums and merch separate on my store page, which we'll get to in a little bit. I'll use two separate album features here, one for each album. I'll give people the option to purchase a download of the entire albums if they'd like. or buy individual tracks for, let's say, $1.50 each. I'd like to direct people to my Spotify account if they want to stream entire tracks to build up my plays there. So I'll limit each song with a 30 second preview time here in the track settings. I'll make sure to include a note here at the top of the page mentioning the track and albums can be streamed in full on Spotify with an easy to spot link. The shows page is going to be a quick and easy setup. I have a calendar feature already added for me and ready to go. I'll just click on it and then create a new event. We've got three shows coming up in the next two months, so I'll create each one here one by one. I also want to take advantage of Van Zoogle's commission-free ticket sales option and sell tickets to our gigs directly through my site, which is a pro-only feature, by the way. I'll just tick this option on here in the event details, set a price, and the number of tickets available. Now I can link to this event in particular from our socials and direct traffic right back to our site for ticket sales. When someone buys a ticket, they'll be sent an email with the e-ticket automatically. I'll even get a handy guest list created here that I can give to the person working the door, just in case someone doesn't have their phone or ticket handy. 
The photos page has two sections already laid out for me here, which is super handy. If I wanted to edit the title of one of these sections, I can just click on it and do that here. If I don't need more than one section, I can delete one by hovering over it and clicking the trash can icon here. I like the idea of separating my live photos from the rest though, so I'm gonna keep it the way it is. To populate the photo galleries, I'll just click, name the gallery, and start adding pics. Next, we've got our store page. This is where it gets really fun. I'm gonna delete the section for digital albums since I'm gonna be selling those on my music page. We have vinyls pressed for our two albums available to sell, so I'm gonna add those using the store feature. Aside from that, we don't have any merch made, so I'm going to take advantage of Ben Ziegel's integration with Printful and set up an account there. Check out our video on how to use the Printful integration in the description below. I'll set aside some time later on to really get creative with Printful, explore all the merch items available, and have fun putting together a lineup of items to sell here in my store. To collect payments though, I'm going to need to connect either a Stripe or PayPal account here in my Selling Tools tab under Payment Settings. My store items will all be set to unavailable on my live site until I complete this step, which can be done in just a few clicks. Keep in mind merch sales are available on the standard and pro plans only. The contact page layout is all set for me too. I'll click on the custom form feature to customize my fields. and instantly have a super useful contact form here on the page where people can send me an email to get in touch. Any messages submitted here will get forwarded to my login email on file. I can also specify a different email address if I want to for the submissions to go to. So if I have a bandmate who handles the bookings, I can add their email here instead of using the login email. And there will also be a record of all my messages here under submissions. I'll also populate this My Sites feature with all my socials so people can get in touch there instead if they prefer. Next, let's click over to the Edit Theme tab. Here we can customize our colors, fonts, menu button size, and so much more. I'm going to stick to this three color palette I put together. One primary color, a secondary color that complements it really well, and a third accent color that I can throw in to give a bit of an injection of color when I need to. Like here with my buttons. If you need help choosing colors for your site, you can look to your latest album's artwork for some inspiration. It's pretty common for bands to rebrand their site to match their latest release, so that's a good place to start. You can also use one of the many free color palette generators online like this one here. I have up to 30 days on my free trial to get my website built. Once I'm done and I'm ready to share with the world, I'll click the upgrade link here and choose the plan that's best for me. I'm gonna go with the pro plan because I wanna take advantage of all the advanced e-commerce options like sale pricing and discount codes. Those will be great to promote to my fans through my mailing list and socials. Now that I'm on a paid plan, I can also take advantage of the free custom domain name that Banzigo offers and register that here. This domain will be renewed each year automatically and for free for as long as I'm a paying member. We hope you're enjoying building your band website with Bandzoogle. For any help, advice, or feedback on what you put together so far, don't hesitate to reach out to our friendly support team through live chat or email. They're all musicians too so they'll be able to relate and point you in the right direction, helping with whatever you need.